Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a beautiful day because your day will be how you make it. If you wake up and start off in a positive attitude, that's the way your day is going to be. Okay, so if you're new here, I tell you just a little bit about myself to start off my videos. I am LaShawn. I am the divorced mother of three adult children, two boys and a girl. Their ages are 22, 24, and 30. So as you can see, I'm an empty nester. I am a YouTuber over the age of 50, and that's all you need to know. Okay. <laughs> I am also a United States Navy veteran. I am now disabled. And because I'm disabled, I work from home, and I do this YouTube thing, and I hustle every single day. I'm also a surgical tech. I did that for many, many years. I had a lot of fun doing that. It brought me lots and lots of joy. So now I'm here on YouTube and I try each day to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I can. So if any of that sounds like something you want to hear or sounds like something that you want to tune into, all you have to do is like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell because that's the only way you're going to be notified when I have new videos. Okay, so here's the video for today. Hello, it's me and it's time for us to meal plan. So it's very important. I take this very seriously because the way the world is right now with these high inflated prices, we have to do everything we can to save money on a daily basis. So our weekly meal planning is very important to make sure that we can eat, that we can feed our children, and that we are able to thrive. Okay, so if you're new here and you've never came to any of my meal planning, let me tell you a little bit that you need. Two things. All you need is your handy dandy marker or pen. I like colorful markers, so I always use a marker. Okay, and then you pick the cell paper that you're going to use for that particular week. So depending on where you are, Jewel, Costco, Walmart, Harvey's, Winn-Dixie, Publix, wherever city you're in, whatever sale paper that you choose, they come, well, here in Jacksonville, they come in mail on Wednesday. So I can sit and plan out the items that I'm going to get from the store. But also I would like to add that the very first thing you have to do before you even start meal planning is you need to go into your cabinets. You need to look and see how many uh, packs of rice you got or spaghetti, peanut butter, jelly, those type of things. Go into your pantry, look at your canned goods, look and see if you need crackers this week, if you need flour and sugar and all those things. Then you go to your freezer and that is the most important feature is the refrigerator and the freezer. In the freezer is the meat. So you have to know if you got two or three packs of meat, you might be able to make that through a week and it can stretch you. Or if you have no meat at all, you're going to have to get some meat this week. So you go through your freezer and see what you already have. And then you go in the refrigerator and check on, you know, the condiments and the margarine and the cheese and all those things that you need in order to make nice, delicious, hearty meals. And that's what we're trying to do at the most frugal prices, the cheapest prices. Okay, so let's get started. I always get excited because anything about saving money excites me. Okay, so let's get started. And let's see what we got here. I take my time and I make sure I don't miss anything. They got strawberries right on the front. I would love to get those strawberries. They got a pound. What is that? A four for $4.99. Oh, that's so expensive. 
That's so expensive. Uh, that's just too much. I can't do it. I can't do it. But they have our potatoes for $2.98. So, they have a 10-pound bag of russet potatoes. And I'm pretty excited. There you go, right there. You see that? See that? 10 pound bag of potatoes for $2.98. And I'm going to tell you why that's a good deal. It's a good deal because you can get one bag of these. It's 10 pounds, not five. That's a lot of potatoes. And this is what you can do. You can make homemade mashed potatoes. You can dice up the potatoes for potato salad. You can um, uh, season them up. This is what I do. I cut them up into little blocks. And I season them with zatarans and different kind of Cajun seasonings. And I put them in the oven. And th that's a good, healthy uh, choice when you're trying to figure out a side for some leftover chicken or something. You throw those potatoes in the oven and they're like this. You can make a baked potato. You can make your own fries. And you can say the, the price of this bag is the price of a bag of fries. So you can't go wrong with a bag of potatoes. So we circled our potatoes. That's the very first thing. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Twinkies. Mm, mm, mm. Buy one, get one free. It's a shame. It's a shame because I want them. Okay, but I can't. Twinkies are like $4 for a box. They're ridiculous. But we have to circle this. Um, We have to circle the sugar. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm completely out. I'm completely out of sugar. I don't use a lot of sugar. I don't make Kool-Aid or any of those things that you would need sugar for. Um, I don't drink cold tea. I drink hot tea. And 90% of the times, there's no sugar in there. But you do need sugar for um, a cereal. Like, for instance, cornflakes and raisin bran and different things like that. And not a big container, but I do need to have some sugar in here. I have none. And then my cream of wheat, my oatmeal, all those things. And sometimes I don't put it in there, but when you want it, you want it. So we're going to circle this. Now, this is a big five pound of sugar but I'm, I'm not going to get five pounds next we're going to circle these lays well actually these are ruffles we're going to circle these ruffle potato chips they're 3.99 now obviously i'm not going to pay 3.99 for a bag of of uh ruffle potato chips what i will do is circle it so i'll know i need the chips then when i get in the store which i'm going to harvey's this week Harvey's or Winn-Dixie, either one of those, their brand is called SE Grocer. So you go in there, you get their brand for like no more than $1.25, $1.50. I'll get their brand, same ounces, give or take an ounce of chips. I have learned now, I love Lay's. I love plain Lay's with no ripples. Those are my favorite. I like hot potato chips, like hot Lay's. But Lay's ain't no joke. Lay's is quite expensive. So I have learned to eat the low brand. Okay, if I want to eat some chips, they're going to have to be Etsy Grocer this week. Now, I use those chips uh, to go with my lunch. I make uh, turkey sandwiches or turkey subs. It depends on what uh, type of stuff we have that week. Also, we're going to circle the cereal. I'm circling the cereal. Now, this is Cheerios and Captain Crunch. I'm not going to get that. I need Raisin Bran. And so I'm going to write on here Raisin Bran. And the reason I'm doing this is they're not going to advertise no Raisin Bran. Don't nobody want no Raisin Bran except me. Okay? It keeps me regular. Okay? It keeps me regular. Uh, is that too much information? Okay. All righty. So, also, we're going to circle... Some shredded cheese last week we got the regular sliced cheese this week we need to get shredded cheese because I'm making macaroni this week I just prefer shredded cheese and it costs a little more but that's what we're gonna do and that's it for that page I got this little insert with me let's see they got bologna and they got hot dogs 
I still have turkey, so I will be able to make sandwiches. If I didn't have turkey, the bologna is on sale this week, but I'm, I'm not going to pay for any bologna because it makes no sense for me to buy excess. Okay, so there's the orange juice. Now, again, this is the Tropicana orange juice. But I always get the SE Grocer brand. SE Grocer is the generic for Winn Dixie and Harvey's. And I can get a whole gallon for $3.99. Now, this little Tropicana thing right here is $3.99. No, 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 no. I get the whole big gallon for $3.99. So by circling it, I know I need my orange juice. And we'll use that. Let's see how much this chicken breast here. Natural fresh boneless skin $9.99. Is that a nine? Ugh. No chicken breast. Mm -mm. Shrimp $14.99 a bag. See, you have to do what you have to do. There we go. There go a whole chicken. Okay, let me explain. Per pound for those chicken breasts is ridiculous. I'll pay twice as much. So, what I'll do is I'll buy this whole chicken for $9. That whole chicken, I'll bake it in the oven. I'll have, I'll, I'll separate the white and dark meat because I, I, I prefer white, but I'll eat the dark if I'm hungry. Okay, you do what you got to do. The first day, I'll eat the baked chicken. The second day, I'll make chicken salad or macaroni salad or something with the chicken. I might even make a fajita or a chicken wrap, whatever. But that chicken, I can eat off for, for a number of days. And I'll only spend $9 for the whole chicken. Do you understand? I'll get two or three breasts and spend that much. And it'll still it'll be three meals, but it won't be an assortment of different meals. It will, not be, it will not be what I can get out that whole chicken. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, so that's it for the meat. So all we're going to get this week is one whole chicken. It's going to shock a lot of you. But you have to do what you got to do. Okay. So we are going to... Okay, we already got... Oh, they got the hot sauce. Oh, they're not on sale. I really love the hot sausages. They are... Growing up in Chicago, we used to get... You know, we used to go um, and get the hot sausages with the grilled onions and and put the mustard on there mm. but they are $12.98 a pack so I won't be getting those it's, it's really sad I'm going to go right through this page because everything is overpriced on this page this is all the meats and everything but there is my noodles we shall circle we shall circle our noodles with pride everybody got something to say but I eat noodles every day if I have to Okay, we only got one more page. Positive patch. Okay, they got the canned goods here. And uh, I'm going to get these canned greens. I'm going to show them to you. Because people don't understand. See right here? There it is right there. That is the canned greens right there. Four for five, which means it's $1.25 a can. So I'll get two cans. I'll get two cans. I'll get one of the collard and one of the turnip. And I mix them up together. So for two dollars, I'll have canned greens. I'll season them the way I want to. Obviously, they won't be as good as fresh greens. But the price spike here in Jacksonville for me to get a uh, each of the greens is just too much. So I will get those greens. And also, we'll circle this tuna fish. I only need a couple more cans of the tuna fish. And we can make tuna fish. Or we can even make uh, the macaroni salad. I do not see my Sprite or 7-Up. And when I don't see it, I just don't worry about it. I think that might be it, everybody. I pretty much got everything I need. I thought I needed margarine. Thankfully, I looked in the freezer. I still had one. Oh, my goodness. They got cantaloupe. How much? 
three nine. Ugh. It's a shame. I love cantaloupe too. It's just too much. It's just way too much. They got plenty of beer in here. They have beer and they have wine in the sale paper. And we're not interested in either one of those. Oh, you will not. Cherries, what are those? Cherries, $5.98 a pound. Yo, I, know, I know you're not going to believe me. Look right there. See that? Cherries are five ninety eight a pound. I'm not making this up. That's how expensive food is in Florida. And I'm trying to make it. But this is ridiculous. So we're going to get one head of lettuce. We're going to circle. We're going to get one head of lettuce. And um, I don't see nothing else. I don't see a cucumber in here. Let me look and see if I missed it. Nope. No cucumber. Okay, so when it's something that I need and I don't see it in the sale paper, at the front, I'll write it up there, cucumber. Cucumber. I'm also going to write uh, carrots. Because I didn't see the carrots. Because they have... Some carrots that's already shredded. And usually the bag is like 99 cents a dollar. But if it's not, you get one carrot. That's it. Just one. And you can shred it and cut it up and put it in a little Tupperware bowl. And that'll get you through the week. So that's that's just a little bit. But that's it. So you got your sale paper. You got your marker. You're all finished. Now what you do is you go to the grocery store with only this. You put it underneath there, you go to the grocery store, and you stick to the list. You don't deviate. You can't get the ice cream. You can't get those Twinkies I told you that's in there. Okay. Oh, the Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme be there, too. I see. I can't focus. I got too much going on. But if you don't get distracted and you stay according to your list, then you can do better and you can save money. Now, we all have urges and we all want the sweets and the cakes and the different things. But they are so expensive. One little box of Twinkies is for like $4.99 or $4, however much it is. But you can buy a, a cake and some icing and make your own Twinkie, whatever it is, Swiss Miss or whatever the brands are of some type of sweet. That's if you choose. Okay? So that's it. That's all I got for you. That is the way to save money, is to meal plan. Okay, so at this time, we like to breathe in and breathe out and get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We are thankful for this day. Okay, so wherever you're headed today, to work, to school, to the skating ring, or to the dog track, okay? Wherever you got to go, be happy, be joyful, and be of good cheer. But most of all, treat people with respect. It's the only way to live, okay? So have a good day, have a blessed day, and remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.